as a math teacher, which is why I can tell if that girl was texting on her phone over there while I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just drop it and I'll like, disappear. It was better there. Well done. Uh, so, uh, I used to work as a, a normal math teacher, and as, as uh, we've mentioned, I now work uh, part time at a university. And I think we have. Uh, the whole range of people in the room uh, today. Oh, by the way, sorry, um, I, I don't speak uh, any uh, Finnish at all. I, I speak zero word. Okay, I speak one word of Finnish. Nokia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I believe Nokia is the Finnish word for Nokia. Uh, uh, that, I mean, just check, right? Because we've got we've got some school students, we've got university students, and we've got people who work at the university who I will now refer to as old people. Uh, <laughs> so we'll check who's here. Can, uh, can I get a cheer or a hand up? Or who are the school students in the room? Where are the school students? Oh, okay, evenly distributed throughout. Okay, uh, university students. For the, right, over there to the top. And people who work at the university. Oh, everyone, right, okay. <laughs> now I'm nervous. Uh, so, uh, if you spot any mistakes, don't ruin it for the other people. Uh, so, uh, the people are asking, what's the point of having a 4D twisted donut? Why would you need one of those? Uh, and they're called well, actually it's the shadow. That is the 3D shadow made out of glass of this 4D twisted donut. And so people say, well, why would you need one of those? Well, they make the very nice hats. <laughs> <laughs> you can fit the shadow of the Klein bottle, right? So I went to my mum. I was like, right, mother, right. Here we can go to she next. Right? I was like, mother, here's what you've got to do. You've got to nip in the 3D shadow of a 4D twisted donut so I can wear it as a hat. And she was like, what have I raised? <laughs> and then we had this long conversation where I was talking about maths and she was speaking in knitting. And we eventually worked it out and she did it. She made me one of these hats. Uh, there's me wearing it there. <laughs> It's a serious math talk, okay? <laughs> so there's me. Okay, and I've got it here. So, well, actually, you're doing this on a computer screen, aren't you? So, technically, that is the 2D shadow of the 3D shadow of the 4D root. <laughs> so, you can go with the 2D shadow of the 3D shadow of the cube around and use the other 4D shadow. Honest way, turn on honest way. I couldn't be happier. <laughs> Uh, and actually, if that gets too easy, there is, of course, a 5D <laughs> Which you're moving the 2D shadow of the 3D shadow of the 4D shadow of the 5D Rubik's Cube to go on the same 4D stickers of the same half uh, At this point, I'm going to wrap up. If you want to pester me with any uh, uh, emails and the like, uh, there's my email address. Oh, I'll copy a different email address. They're all the same place. Uh, I'll change it to another one in a moment, but on that note, I'm going to finish. Thank you all very much for listening to someone.